Crystal Means, and I am a non-traditional student in my master's program here at ERU. Um, I am 2D and 3D artist, and uh, I was taking the advanced digital art class when Bill Hubschmidt gave us a chance to honor an icon, and he gave us a couple pictures to choose from, some of which are around the room, and I saw the coin. No problem. Oh, okay. I saw this picture of the coin that I uh, really enjoyed looking at. I have a strong interest in archaeology and anthropology and collecting coins. So I decided that I would like to make it appear to be antique. Um, then later he let me know that he actually had an antique coin just like this that he found as a child. So, um, at first, I took a whole bunch of pictures of the Nakuma uh, coin and cut out the backgrounds because it had a white, plain white background. And I layered <coughs> multiple pictures on top of each other to try and uh, give it more of a three dimensional um, effect. And then I added different layers of colors over top of it, including this halo that I have around it that I kind of figured would bring a little bit more attention to it um, instead of the background. And I wanted to add a bit more of a modern background to it. So I had taken a bunch of textural pictures at home of different things around the house, um, one of which being a fluorescent colored uh, poster, but really, really close, so that I only got abstract color out of it, and layered them on top of each other in the background to kind of create the three-dimensional effect in the background. Um, and then I changed uh, the color of the whole piece, little sections at a time, I would select like a certain color in here that I didn't like or a certain color in the outline of the wording and change it to different blues and greens and stuff. Um, and then finally I just uh, manipulated the contrast and uh, the texture of the background. I think that's about it. Um, there wasn't much explained to us in class uh, about the subject matter. We just knew that we would get to honor an icon. And to what extent did Bill's stories to you about Jana and Kuma help you choose this particular project? We, okay, it's beautiful. Uh, but what did you want to achieve by it? Um, actually, uh, Bill was leaning more towards the pictures of the subject himself. And the reason why I chose this one is because it had been neglected by the others and that I really enjoyed coins. Um, Doug actually had attempted to uh, take this subject matter and do something with it. And uh, he just wasn't happy with his outcome, so it ended up just being me. He, uh, I'm not sure, he ended up doing one of these multicolor ones over here. Um, but I don't, it's been a year. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm so sorry.